Dr. Emma Head Nichols. Welcome to this week's edition of the new FDA approvals podcast. This is for the week of June 26th through the 30th, and today is July the 3rd, and tomorrow's Independence Day. So I hope that you're all taking time off and spending it with your families and having a great time. And I do want you to listen to this, but maybe after the holiday. Please do subscribe, rate, and review this podcast if you get a chance. Thank you. The FDA has approved Lantidra, manufactured by Celtrans Inc., for the treatment of type 1 diabetes. Lantidra, also known as Donis Lecal J-U-I-N, is the first allogeneic pancreatic islet cellular therapy derived from deceased donor pancreatic cells. The treatment is specifically approved for patients with type 1 diabetes who cannot achieve target glycated hemoglobin levels due to repeated episodes of severe hypoglycemia despite intensive diabetes management and education. Type 1 diabetes requires multiple daily injections of insulin or continuous infusion using a pump. Some individuals with type 1 diabetes struggle to manage their daily insulin requirements. Mantidra is administered through an infusion into the hepatic portal vein. Additional infusions may be necessary depending on the patient's response to the initial dose. The primary mechanism of action of Lantidra is believed to be the secretion of insulin by the infused allogeneic islet beta cells. In certain patients with type 1 diabetes, these cells can produce sufficient insulin, eliminating the need for insulin injections or pump usage to control blood sugar levels. In a study involving 30 participants who received at least one infusion and a maximum of three infusions of Lantidra, five participants did not achieve independence from insulin, but 25 patients achieved at least one year of insulin independence, with 10 participants being able to go more than five years without insulin. Lantidra requires the use of ongoing immunosuppressive therapy to maintain islet cell viability. The FDA has also approved Nagenla, which is also known as somatotrogon GHLA, for the treatment of patients three years of age or older with growth failure due to inadequate secretion of endogenous growth hormone. Nagenla is administered through weekly injections, which is different from most currently available treatments that are given daily. Other long-acting agents for this condition include Novo Nordisk's Sagroya, which was approved for adults in 2020, and Ascendus' Skytropha, which was the first long-acting agent approved for use in children in 2020. Nagenla is now the second long-acting agent approved for use in children. The approval of Nagenla was based on results from a phase three study involving 224 treatment-naive pediatric patients with growth hormone deficiency. The study demonstrated non-inferiority compared to somatotrophin using annual height velocity at 12 months as a measure. The FDA approval follows a complete response letter issued by Pfizer in January 2022, without publicly stated reasons. Growth hormone deficiency is considered a rare disease affecting approximately 1 in 4,000 to 10,000 children. The FDA has approved Roctavian, which is a gene therapy based on an adeno-associated virus vector for the treatment of adults with severe hemophilia A without pre-existing antibodies to adeno-associated virus serotype 5. The generic name for Roctavian is Veloctocogene Roxaparvovec, R-V-O-X, suspension for intravenous infusion. Hemophilia A is a rare genetic bleeding disorder caused by a mutation in the gene responsible for producing factor 8, a protein essential for blood clotting. This disorder primarily affects males. The effectiveness of Roctavian was established based on a result from a cohort of 112 patients who were followed for at least three years after treatment. Following the infusion, the mean annualized bleeding rate decreased from 5.4 bleeds per year at baseline to 2.6 bleeds per year. The standard treatment for severe hemophilia A usually involves the use of factor VIII replacement therapy or an antibody-based medication to improve blood clotting ability and reduce the likelihood of bleeding. 
Roctavian, on the other hand, is a one-time gene therapy administered as a single dose through intravenous infusion. The FDA approval was granted to Biomarin. Also approved last week was Restigo, which is also known as Rosano Alexazumab Noli, under the priority review designation for the treatment of generalized myasthenia gravis, GMG, in adult patients who are positive for two types of antibodies. That's anti-acetylcholine receptor, ACHR, or the anti-muscle-specific tyrosine kinase, MUSC, antibodies. The approval is based on the pivotal phase three Mycarin G study in GMG, a large phase three study that demonstrated significant improvements in various outcomes, such as breathing, talking, swallowing, and mobility. Restigo is administered as a subcutaneous infusion of a humanized IgG4 monoclonal antibody that binds to the neonatal FC receptor, FCRN, leading to a reduction in circulating IgG. It is the only FDA-approved treatment for adults in both anti-ACHR and anti-musk antibody positive GMG. These are the two most common subtypes of GMG. According to the manufacturer, UCB, this medication will be available commercially in the U.S. during the third quarter of 2023. Also approved and now available is Skyclerus, which is also known as Omaviloxolone, and that's become the first FDA-approved treatment for Friedrich's ataxia. According to the manufacturer Rieta Pharmaceuticals, the treatment is now available to patients following a brief delay due to a production process-related impurity. The treatment was initially approved in February 2023 for use in patients aged 16 years and older. Friedrich's ataxia is an inherited neurodegenerative disorder that affects approximately 5,000 patients in the U.S. It is typically diagnosed during adolescence and causes progressive loss of muscle strength and coordination, leading to wheelchair confinement and a shortened lifespan. And finally, this week, the FDA has approved atorvalic, atorvastatin calcium, as the first and only FDA-approved liquid suspension of atorvastatin for the treatment of high cholesterol and various risk factors for heart disease and stroke. The medication manufactured by CMP Pharma Inc. is a liquid oral suspension approved for patients 10 years of age or older. According to the manufacturer, Otorvalic is bioequivalent to the tablet dose of atorvastatin and has a stable shelf life of two years. Well, that's it for this week. I do hope you'll check back every Monday morning for our rundown on last week's approval so that you can stay up to date. Please do tell your friends, colleagues, and anybody, your clients, all the people, tell everybody. And we share this when you see it come out on LinkedIn. That'd be great. Thank you. This podcast is brought to you by Nascent Medical. If you're a project manager at a CME or medical communications agency and need on-call medical writing assistance, please visit us at nascentmedical, nascentmc.com. We're a team of MD and PhD level medical writers, and we can create slide decks, white papers, ad board summaries, manuscripts, needs assessments, and much, much more in any medical area. We also do medical editing using AMA style and also fact checking. Visit us at nascentmc.com. And if you're a medical writer and you want to quickly look something up from this podcast, it's really easy. You can go to our podcast page at nascentmc.com and there's now a search bar which will pull up the search notes from this podcast. So you can type in something like diabetes and it'll bring up all the diabetes related agents that have been approved since May 15th when this podcast started. So it's a really great way of searching without bringing in the whole Google search to bear on the information. So definitely check that out. I I think it's really useful for medical writers, especially when we're writing, um, you know, needs assessments and things like that. And also starting this week, we're also including the prescribing information with each summary too, to make it very convenient and easy to research agents further. Well, have a wonderful week and I will talk to you next Monday. Take care.